Vera Wang was born on June 27, 1949, in New York City. As she grew up, her childhood dream was to become an Olympic figure skater. She trained hard for it, but alas, it was not to be. That became her first heartbreak. While this gave her considerable unhappiness, she refused to be halted in her pursuit of prominence. Soon, she found herself driven to the world of creative allure clothes. She was hired at Vogue magazine as an assistant. Vera impressed her superiors and was named the magazine's youngest ever fashion editor in 1972. Wang's dedication drove her to become the senior fashion editor at Vogue. At 24, her lifestyle began spinning out of control as an editor, and her love for designing clothes had taken the proverbial backseat. Unable to take the plunge, Vera finally quit the magazine when she was rejected for the position of Vogue's editor-in-chief. Stung and bruised, she did not let the sad turn of events dampen her spirit, as Vera never considered all that. As a matter of fact, in 1987, her wish came true when she was appointed as a design director at the fashion house of Ralph Lauren. She designed her own wedding dress in 1989. Wang ultimately built an illustrious career as the leading couture wedding dress designer. She opened a bridal boutique and soon launched her own signature collection. Now popular, she has a large Hollywood following and also designs lingerie, jewelry, and home products. Today, Wang's name is synonymous with bridal fashion, and there are Vera Wang bride boutiques all over the world. In an interview with The Cut, Vera addressed the issue of failure when she said, Don't be afraid of failing. I think not trying is worse than failing. Have the courage to try. Otherwise, what are we here for? Most people love to be in their comfort zone. They like it when they don't have to worry about the repercussions of their actions. They like it when they don't have to wake up at night worrying about what might go wrong. The problem with this mindset is that, well, that's how to live an average life. To really live to the fullest, you have to dare life, take risks and fight hard. As you woke up this morning, think about this. What is more important in life? Is it peace or progress? Just as prison is the most secured place in the world, Living an average life is the most peaceful, but it's meant for the cowards. If you genuinely want to achieve greatness in life, you have to embrace the pains that come with progress. But why are most people so weak and fearful of failures? I'll tell you. The reason is that most people think failure is terrible, and it can sometimes be. But think about it this way. Failure is the foundation of every success. Jack Canfield said, and I quote, Everything you want is on the other side of fear. Think about that for a moment. Everything you want in life is on the other side of failure. Everything you want is on the other side of mistakes. Every progress you want is on the other side of pains. Robert F. Kennedy said, Only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel. We love you.